Okay, this is not what I was expecting to be inside. And welcome back to Unnecessary Invention. So today I'm really excited because I have a brand new invention that I... So I just shot the outro for this video, realizing that the intro I filmed a few weeks ago ended up being nothing like what actually happened over the past few weeks trying to make this invention. So I thought I would refilm it and give a little bit more context. So every now and then with my inventions, I come up with a name for an invention before I actually think of the concept. And for some reason, the term Mark Zucker rug popped into my head. And I was thinking I would create a bath mat of Mark Zuckerberg's face because Facebook is watching everything that you do. So why not have Mark also watch everything that I'm doing in the bathroom? Originally, I thought I was just gonna give you a tutorial on how to make products in China until absolutely nobody wanted to make a bath mat of Mark Zuckerberg's face. So it took a little bit extra convincing to actually bring this invention to life. So let's go ahead and hop back a few weeks when I started this whole project with a whole lot more optimism. So for the Zucker rug, we're going to be using Alibaba.com to make this product in China. So Alibaba is sort of like the Amazon of Asia, not the rainforest, but we're gonna submit a request for proposal. And then that way, manufacturers will contact me that make these similar bath mats. And then we'll go from there and figure out which one we wanna use to actually create the product. So let's dive in. So on Alibaba, we wanna go ahead and request a quote right now. I am looking for a full color bath mat photo quality. Let's just say I wanna make 5,000 of them. Hello, I am a designer in the United States and I am looking to produce, produce a die cut bath mat that features a full color photo on the front with a waterproof backing. Please send catalog examples and pricing for samples. So China is on a much different time schedule, so they are probably all asleep right now. So we're gonna give this maybe one or two days, let the quotes populate in Alibaba, and then we'll sift through them and figure out which manufacturer we wanna use to bring the Zucker rug to life. So I'll see you in a few days. Good morning, everyone. I'm having my first cup of coffee. I just woke up, it's been about, what was it, two days ago that I submitted those quotes. So I thought I'd hop into Alibaba, see how many we have so far, and then uh, figure out our next steps. Here is a screenshot from Alibaba, and it looks like I have 10 quotes that have come in. I have to blur out all the other quotes because let's just say there's a holiday store coming. So here we have the manufacturing manufacturers that we can contact. So now that we have a decent number of quotes, the next step I think we need to do is actually design the bath mat, and then we'll go ahead and send them the design of what we wanna make for the Zucker rug. So let me finish my coffee, take a shower, and I'll see you guys back over at the studio where we're gonna design that. So I am now a little bit more awake, and I am back at the studio with another cup of coffee. <sighs> And so let us go ahead and design our Zucker rug. So pretty much for the design, I basically just want it to be sort of like his portrait from here down and then we'll die cut around the edge of his body. And I think that should be pretty much it. I'm probably gonna have it like life size ish, maybe a little bit bigger. So like two to three feet tall and we should be in business. So let's go find a good picture. Mark Zuckerberg portraits. Okay, so now here we have a bunch of portraits of Mark Zuckerberg. I do kind of wish I could do that photo of him at the, what was it, the Senate, of him sipping the water where he looks like a lizard and a robot, but that one won't work as well. Right here, I think this is the one. I think that is going to be a perfect photo of Mark Zuckerberg. So let's go ahead and copy that image. And so basically all I'm gonna do is line it up with his ears, chop off his body there, line it up with his ears on this side, chop off his body. Maybe we'll get rid of a little bit of his torso. And then I'm just gonna take the pen tool and outline around his entire body. And that way we'll tell them to make a black border that goes around it to kind of give it a nice finished look for the final product. Well, okay then, I think we have the design already. Here we go. 
So I'm going to take this design and send it over to the Chinese manufacturers that reply to our quote, send them the dimensions that I want, send them the photo, tell them we want the border, that we want it die cut around the black edges, and then we'll see what they come back with, with what the sample pricing is gonna be, how long samples are gonna take, then we'll move on from there. And hopefully, maybe by early next week, we will have ourselves a brand new Zucker rug. Until next time, my Unnecessarians. Oh, it's been a long few days. It is time to check back in with the Mark Zucker rug project. I have been busy the past few days finalizing my brand new book. So you can tell that I have a few different covers. I'm still sort of working through the design of what I want it to look like. It is pretty gorgeous so far. By the time this video goes live, it should be online and everything. So I will put a link down in the description so you can check that out. But let us go ahead and hop into Alibaba and figure out what these manufacturers had to say about the design we sent. Okay, let's see some of the ones I messaged. Okay, so far the first two did not message me back whatsoever. I'm gonna take that as an L. Next. Oh no, so this one says, Dear Matt, we can produce this mat for you, but there's a problem we need to confirm with you, whether this image will be infringed. I'm not sure how to reply to them. I don't want to lie and say the image isn't. I mean, if I'm only doing samples, is it infringed? I guess I don't have a direct answer if it's infringed, but they also say that they will still produce it. So I guess they're only worried about my end, not necessarily their end. I'm gonna go ahead and reply to them real quick. <laughs> this one just says, this is, this is the design, are you sure? This is not related to the portraiture, right? Just curious. A portrait, I'm guessing, is what they mean. All right, let me reply to them as well. Oh no, this is not going how I expected whatsoever. Okay, another one said, I am very sorry, our boss just said there is no authorization. We can't export it, there is a big risk. So another one says they are not going to create it for me. Let's see if there's any more. And another one is giving me the no-go. Okay, thank you for waiting. We really want to cooperate with you, but we are sorry to tell you we cannot make you this sample because it could be an infringement. We were fined 500,000 yen before a small logo for a client. We have to be more cautious now. How much is, hey Siri, how much is 500,000 yuan to American dollars? $71,245.37. Well, that's lovely to hear. I don't know what to do. There's nothing else I really want to do tonight. So I am going to go ahead, think about where I want this project to go, and then I will start back up tomorrow morning, back at the studio, what our next plan of attack is. So I will see you tomorrow morning. And this right here that you're looking at, this is a forced smile because this project is not going at all the way that I thought it was gonna go. So far after last night, talking to a few of those manufacturers, they all said no. I tried to convince them that if they sent it to me, then I could try and get authorization for production. They're not gonna make samples because they know they're not going to put it into production because they think they won't be able to export it out of the country. So since none of those quotes came through, I'm gonna go ahead, hop back into Alibaba, and submit quotes individually to companies instead of waiting for them come to me. So that way I'm gonna go and I'm gonna search for different companies that make bath mats, send them the photo right up front so that they know what they're gonna make. So right away I'll either get a yes or a no and I hopefully don't have to waste any time. So I'm gonna go ahead, message a few of these manufacturers and hope that one of them comes through. So once again, the timing is so much different. We're just gonna have to wait a whole, lot longer than I thought I was gonna have to wait. So hopefully one of these people will come through. So I will update you once I have a few more answers. And I look like trash. Okay, so it has been a few days and I realize I have not given an update on what's going on with the Zucker rug. So good news and bad news. The bad news is I still had a whole bunch of people just saying no. <laughs> Pretty much just flat out, either not replying or 
openly saying no within the first one or two messages. Luckily, I do have one manufacturer that seems like they are cooperating to make a sample of this. I guess you wouldn't say ask, they just sort of said, hello, this is Facebook CEO. They followed it up with another question, so I just answered the second question that they sent. It seems like that hasn't been brought up again. So it is nighttime right now. I'm gonna send them a few more quick messages, go to bed. I have to catch a flight in the morning, so hopefully for my flight, I can give you another update that they are going to make the samples. And we will be one step so much closer to the Zucker rug becoming a reality. Okay, you guys, we did it. The manufacturer officially said that they are making the sample. I sent the deposit out. It is gonna be $80 to make the Zucker rug sample. And I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be like a week for production and maybe a week for shipping. So once it actually comes in, I am going to update you guys. So see you in a few weeks when it finally comes in. Oh, I can't wait. So the day has finally arrived. It has been delivered at the studio, so let's go drive over there, and we will check out the Zucker rug in all of its glory and see how the final product actually came out. Let's go. Let us hope it is here. Do you see that? Do you see that? It has finally arrived, so let's go bust it open. It is a absolute mess in here from some Christmas inventions that will be coming soon. But let's get this guy open. Let's open it up. Um, these things can always be like Fort Knox to try and get open. But I am dying to see what's inside. Huh, what is this? Okay, this is not what I was expecting to be inside. Oh wait, they sent me two of them. Okay, there's one, and it's more of a square or a rectangle it looks like. And then we have another one in here. Oh yeah, this is what I think I was expecting. <laughs> hey Mark, what's going on? <laughs> Are you ready for the final grand reveal? of the Zucker rug. Dun da da da. Dun 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 da da da. <laughs> Look at Mr. Mark Zucker rug. It's really soft. I got my eyes on you. We need to buy TikTok this instant. Okay, let's see the other one I got though. That this is what I designed earlier, but it is not the same as the second one a big rectangle, but it's like a, this is one that would like almost go inside of your shower. It looks like it's waterproof and kind of has this texture to it. So see, it's sort of more like a sponge material to it. He's still looking pretty good. Let's see them side by side. Beautiful, gorgeous. I think this reached my expectations, maybe exceeded them. Getting two of them, that's always a bonus. We have a nice backing on the back. It's nice and soft. So even though this project ended up being much more of a pain and a hassle than I was expecting at the very beginning, I have to say, we really knocked it out of the park with this final product. People are going to be really creeped out when I have this in my house, which I absolutely, 100%, I'm going to have outside my shower. Let's go recap. So once again, here we have the final products, plural now. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy. I think you could say that me and Mark are now best friends. It's kind of like a stuffed animal. So as always with all of my unnecessary inventions, be sure to go head on over to Instagram and check out the official product photos of the Zucker rug itself. And of course, the official rating that I have to give this invention is 10, that photo of Mark drinking water at the Senate, out of 10. If you enjoyed watching me make this completely unnecessary invention, be sure to subscribe to this channel, 
right this minute. Go ahead, go go smash that subscribe button. While you're in that region, go hit the little thumbs up for this video, mainly just because I told you so. Whether you liked it or not, go hit it. And so with that, I think that is all I have for today's invention. I need to film a new intro. The intro I made a few weeks ago does not match what actually happened. So I'm gonna film a new intro, but with that, I think that is all I have for today, so I will see you at the next invention. See ya!